Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Mr. Hussein Masapi. And in today's video, we'll be looking at differentiation using the quotient rule. So before we get to it, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Alright, so now differentiating using the quotient rule is very simple to understand. Basically, we just have to follow some steps. Remember, differentiation is simply an action that involves you finding the new function that gives you the gradient or slope at each point of the old function. Alright. Let's begin. Say you have a function f of x and f of x is equivalent to a over b. Given this function where a and b are separate functions, to find the derivative of this, we will say f prime of x is equal to a prime b minus b prime a over b squared a prime b minus b prime a over b squared. This is what we'll be doing in order to solve all the examples that we'll discuss together. All right, let's get to the examples. Example number one. Well, let me say example number one. Say we have been asked to find the derivative, find dy, over dx, find dy over dx of the following functions. So say we have the first question that says f of x is equal to 2x over x squared plus 1. Remember the derivative of this will be f prime of x is equal to a prime b minus b prime a over b squared. Remember that A is what is on top and B is what's at the bottom. So collect data and find these separate values from this equation. So let's start with A. So we let A be equal to what? To X. Then find the derivative of A. So A prime is simply just what? 2. Then let B equal to what's at the bottom, which is X squared plus 1. Then find B prime. B prime is equal to 2X. Upon having our data values, we can now just substitute in the equation that we have. So we say f prime of x is equal to a prime. a prime is 2. b is simply just x squared plus 1 minus b prime, which is 2x, times a, which is also 2x, over b squared, of which b squared is simply just x squared plus 1 squared. Now, we need to follow the numerator, but the denominator can be, remain, can, can be left the way it is. So for the numerator, you can simplify it. Well, we said 2 multiplying that and that, and 2x also multiplying that. So you have f prime of x being equal to 2 times x squared will give you 2x squared. 2 times 1 will simply give you a 2. Minus 2x times 2x is minus 4x squared. And this will be over x squared plus 1 squared. So f prime of x is now, if you collect like terms, you find that you have 2 plus 2x squared minus 4x squared and the order of this will be over x squared plus 1 squared. So if we simplify for them f prime of x is equivalent to 2 minus 2x squared over x squared plus 1 squared and this will be your derivative. I hope it's clear. Let's move on to another example that you uh, help us understand the quotient rule. Say 2 says y is equal to 2 over 2x to the fourth minus 5. Remember, so y prime will be a prime b minus b prime a over b squared. And all we have to do is collect data and know what a and b is as well as a prime and b prime is. So we'll just say let a be equal to what's on the top, which is 2. And a prime will simply be the derivative of a constant, which is 0. And we'll let b be equal to what's at the bottom, which is 2x to the fourth minus 5. Applying the power rule here, you have 8x to the third, just like that. Upon having these data values, we can now plug them back in this equation. So y prime is equal to a prime, of which a prime is 0, times b, of which b is 2x to the fourth minus 5 minus b prime, which is 8x cubed, 
times a which is just 2 over b squared which will just be 2x to the fourth minus 5 squared like i said we'll let the denominator exist the way it is but we just simplify the numerator now zero by everything here will just be zero so we'll just have zero now two sorry we could say negative 8x cubed times two will give you negative 16x cubed over 2x to the fourth minus 5 squared therefore y prime will be equal to minus 16x cubed over 2x to the fourth minus 5 squared and this would be our derivative as simple as it is for others who would want to fall out uh, the denominator it's fine you can fall out the denominator but even leaving it like this you still be marked let's look at example number three say you have f of x being equal to say 4x to the third minus 3x squared over 4x to the fifth minus 4. Remember, the derivative of f prime of x is simply equal to a prime b minus b prime a over b squared. All we have to do is to collect data and ask ourselves what is a. So a is a top. So we just say let a be equal to what's on top, which is 4x cubed minus 3x squared. Then find the derivative of a. So a prime will be equal to 12x squared minus 6x. Then let b equal to what's at the bottom. So which is 4x made of the brackets. So say 4x to the fifth minus 4. Then b prime will be equivalent to 20x to the fourth like that. Then once having these data values, all we have to do is to plug back in the equation. So f prime of x is equal to a prime, which is 12 x squared minus 6x times b which is 4x to the fifth minus 4 minus b prime which is 20x to the fourth by a which is 4x cubed minus 3x squared and the whole lot of this is over b squared of which b squared is 4x to the fifth minus 4 squared all right so you can leave your answer here if you want you can follow it out but we'll let our answer just exist as it is here so this is your final answer others would want to follow it out you can follow it out if you want and you end up having uh, another answer so if you follow it out let me just fast forward to what you'll find f prime of x will be minus 8 x to the 7th plus 9 x to the 6th minus 12 x squared plus 6 x and the little of this will be over if i forward the denominator using binomials you have 4 x uh, to the 10th minus uh, 8 x to the fifth plus 4. yes so you can either leave your answer as this or as that though i mostly prefer leaving it here all right let's uh, look at a different uh, example Okay, so let's look at example number four. Say so you have f of x is equivalent to 4x to the fifth plus x squared plus 4 over 5x squared minus 2. Remember, f prime of x should be equal to a prime b minus b prime a over b squared collect data let a equal to what's on top so a is equal to 4x to the fifth plus x squared plus 4 so a prime is going to be equal to 20x to the fourth plus 2x then let b equal to what's on the bottom which is 5x squared minus 2 b prime is equal to 10x once you have your data values, just plug them in the equation. So f prime of x is equal to a prime, which is 20x to the fourth plus 2x. 
times b, which is 5x squared minus 2, minus b prime, which is 10x, times a, which is 4x to the fifth, plus x squared plus 4. And the order of this is simply over b squared, of which b is 5x squared minus 2 squared. And this is your final answer. All right. Let's look at the last example now. Let's look at the last example that we might have. All right, uh, let's say example number five. Speak something interesting. Okay, let's just make it a bit simple so that everybody can be happy. Say f of x is equal to, let's presume you have x cubed minus x squared minus 3 over, say, something like x to the fifth plus 3. All right, so uh, since it's the last example, uh, you can pause and try to attempt this, this question on your own and compare with me in the end. So remember, f prime of x is simply equal to a prime b plus, sorry, plus minus b prime a over b squared. Then collect data. Remember, let a be equal to what's on top, which is x cubed minus x squared minus 3. Find a prime, which will give you 3x squared minus 2x. Let b equal to what's at the bottom, which is x to the fifth plus 3. Then b prime is simply equal to 5x to the fourth, like that. Once you have these data values, all you have to do is to plug back in the equation. So f prime of x is simply equal to a prime, which is 3x squared minus 2x, times b, which is x to the fifth plus 3, minus b prime, which is 5x to the fourth, times a, which is x cubed minus x squared minus 3. The order of this is over b squared, which is x to the fifth plus 3 squared. And this will be your final answer. Remember, if you want, you can follow it up by letting this expand that, that, and that, and also folding out this part. Or you can just leave your answer here, you still be marked. All right, thanks for watching. My name is Mr. Hussein Mosabi. If you have questions, contact me on WhatsApp on that number above there, or the number that I'll put in my description. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to strategize before it becomes a statistic, and let's try to push for that A+.